This is going to be an HTML CSS tutorial on how to add an animated background to a web page. I will be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser for this. Let me jump over to my browser here. This right here is what I will be creating, an animated background. I'm just using an animated GIF file. I found this file off of uh, Pixabay. I will put a link to it down in the description if you want to practice with this uh, file here. It's just an animated GIF file. You can find all different kinds of uh, GIF files on uh, Pixabay. But this is what I will be creating. If I downsize my browser, the image still covers 100% of the web page. Let me uh, jump over to VS Code and get started here. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now. I'm going to first create a folder for my website here. I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to go down and click on Open Folder. I'm actually going to be creating a folder, but I'm going to click on Open Folder. I'm going to select the destination for my folder. I'm going to put mine on my desktop here. I'm going to scroll down to an empty area. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to New and over to Folder. And I'm just going to call this folder Animated Background. I'm going to hit Enter. I already have my folder selected, so I'm going to click on Select Folder. Now as you can see in the Explorer pane off to the left here, you can see Animated Background. I am inside of that folder. I'm going to place my cursor over that animated background and I'm going to click on the first little icon here which if you put your mouse cursor over it it says new file I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call this file index.html I'm going to hit enter now I'm going to click on the second icon up here if you put your mouse cursor over it it says new folder I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call this folder CSS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. Now as long as I have that CSS folder selected here, I'm going to click on the first icon, new file. And I'm going to call this file style.css. I'm going to hit enter. So now I have a folder with a file inside it called style.css. I'm going to click on my index.html file to come out of my CSS folder. I'm going to go back up to the second icon up here and I'm going to click on new folder and I'm going to call this folder images. I'm going to hit enter. Now what I need to do is place my animated GIF file into my images folder. I'm going to jump over to my desktop here. I have two folders opened up here. The folder off to the left side here is my website folder. Here is my index.html file. Up above that I have my images folder and then up above that is my CSS folder. If I double click on my CSS folder there is my style.css file. I'm going to back up. What I want to do is place my image inside of my images folder. My image is in this folder right over here that I'm going to use. I'm going to right click, hold down my right mouse button. I'm going to drag across and I'm just going to drop it right into my images folder. I'm going to click on copy here. Now if I double click on my images folder, there is my image. I'm going to jump back over to uh, VS Code now. I am on my index.html file right now. I'm going to click on line one here. I'm going to make a exclamation point. And then you can either hit enter or you could click on this first wrench here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to change my title to where it says. I'm just going to call the title animated background.
I'm going to go over to the pane off to the left hand side here. I'm going to close my little uh, Explorer sidebar here. I'm going to click on this top icon up here to close it just to give myself a little bit more room so I can zoom in a little. I'm going to go right above the title tags here to the end of that line right above it. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to connect my CSS file to my uh, HTML file. I'm going to type link. I'm going to hit enter. Link rel equals style sheet href. This is a place where you want to tell your browser where to find the CSS file. My CSS file is in a folder called CSS. CSS. I'm going to do a forward slash and then the name of my CSS file is style.css. Now if I place my mouse cursor over that style.css, that follow link appears right above it. If I click on that follow link, as long as I have this connected properly, it will take me to my CSS file. I'm going to click on follow link. It takes me over to my CSS file, so it's connected properly. If I Now I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go down to Save All. Now I am on my uh, style.css file on line 1 here. I'm going to type Body. I'm going to make a space. Then I'm going to make my curly brackets. I'm going to hit Enter to separate my curly brackets. And I'm going to type Background-Color. I'm going to make a colon, I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to go with a beige. And then I'm going to add a semicolon. And what that does, if my image does not appear for some reason, the background color of the web page is going to be beige. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line, and I'm going to go background-image. I'm going to make a colon, I'm going to do a space, then I'm going to type URL, then parentheses, and in those parentheses I'm going to make uh, a couple single quotations, and in the middle of those single quotations I'm going to tell the browser where to find the image. My image is in a folder called images, I'm going to go dot dot forward slash images then I'm gonna do another forward slash and I'm gonna uh, name the name of my file the name of my file is winter dot GIF the name of your file might be different you just have to look at the name of your file but my file name is winter and the extension is dot GIF now I'm going to put my mouse cursor outside of that last parenthesis, and I'm going to make a semicolon. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. I'm going to jump over to my uh, web page and see what I have so far. First thing I'm going to do before I jump over to my browser though, I'm going to go up to file and down to save all because I want to make sure I save this. Then I'm going to jump over to my uh, web page that I just created. I'm going to double click on my index.html file and that's what I have so far. As you can see my original background compared to the one that I just created this background image has repeated itself four times on this web page and I don't want it to do that. The way to fix that I'm going to jump back over to VS Code and I'm going to type background-repeat I'm going to make a colon I'm going to do a space and I'm going to type no-repeat I'm going to do a semicolon now if I save it I'm going to go up to file down to save I'm going to jump back over to my web page I'm going to refresh now as you can see it's only one image but it's not stretching the uh, entire 
width and height of my web page. So the way to fix that, I'm going to jump back over to VS Code. I'm going to hit enter to go down to the next line. And I'm going to type background size cover. Background dash size colon space cover. I'm going to do a semicolon. Then I'm going to go up to file down to save to save what I did I'm gonna jump back over to my web page I'm gonna refresh now the image is stretching my entire web page if I downsize my web page you can see it throws it off when I downsize my web page though I don't want it to do that my original background if I downsize my web page it doesn't throw it off I'm going to go back to the one I just created, the web page I just created. I'm going to go back to VS Code. And the way to fix that, I'm going to hit Enter to go down to the next line. And I'm going to type width colon space 100 VW semicolon. I'm going to hit Enter to go down to the next line. And I'm going to do height colon space 100 VH semicolon make sure you add your semicolon now I'm gonna go up to file down to save I'm gonna jump back over to my web page I'm gonna refresh now if I downsize my browser the image covers the entire web page That is how you add an animated background on a web page. Thanks for watching.